Okay, so borderline. Um, so I told you already about the Paul group and about um, uh, the various personalities that made up the Paul group. Um, obviously, you've got kind of first thing, you've got Briar, you've got HD, the three of those people living together, creating together, engaging in the same kind of um, artistic and creative enterprises together, reading the same things, lending each other books, um, meeting the same people. In the late 1920s, when Borderline is um, uh, running as a, a, a film journal, from 1927 onwards, they're meeting um, directors and producers in Germany, um, they're meeting Russian film directors, they're talking to Eisenstein and his um, kind of cohorts, um, they're learning about filmic experimentation, um, they're learning about montage, crucially. Mm. So Borderline really kind of comes out of this um, uh, kind of... I don't know, uh, creative energy um, at around this time, in, in the late 1920s and the very early 30s, when silent cinema, um, in their view, is just kind of reaching its peak. It's just getting to, um, it's just really getting going. Of course, sound film has also been invented by this point, um, and people are starting to think of what they can do with sound film. Um, and it's an interesting choice that they've um, chosen to make Borderline as a silent film instead of um, as a sound film when they could have done. Um, it's also interesting that they chose to cast Paul Robeson, who's famous at this point for his beautiful voice, um, and to put him in a, in a silent role in a silent film. Mm. Um, there we go. They loved silent film. They were interested in the aesthetic possibilities of that. Also, because they were talking to Eisenstein so much, they were very interested in clatter montage. And um, you'll see a few instances of clatter montage, specifically, I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but specifically when there's a fight um, involving a knife between HD and her previous lover. Um, and it is, it's very fast cut, it's very rapid, and it is, um, it is pure Eisenstein all the way through. And they've done that on purpose. And, you know, they've had chats with Eisenstein over a coffee in a, in a cafe, and they've decided to do that because of that. Um, Borderline also is very political, it's making political statements, and the political statements are about um, the status of African American people, um, the status of Europe versus America as well, and that's something that if you read close up, and there's a couple of issues online that you can read, um, they're very concerned with Hollywood movies versus European movies and how the tensions between those things play out. Um, and so they've chosen to set Borderline in a little town in Europe, uh, which is Switzerland, which is where they actually lived, it's territory in Switzerland. Um, and they've chosen to have um, a lot of shots of kind of train tracks, this idea that this is a, it's a borderline town, it's a, it's a no place, it's in between places that you want to be. And the characters are all in between places that they want to be as well. They're staying over in this hotel. This is kind of liminal space and liminal time. Um, which potentially is where the most interesting things can happen, the most interesting exchanges can take place, the most interesting life exchanges um, can take place between people in a kind of no place. So the borderline of the title refers to people that are borderline, um, whether they're kind of, you know, borderline accepted by society um, or borderline neurotic stroke sane, which is HD's character. Um, but it also refers to the place that they find themselves in, and you can see a lot of kind of obvious um, symbolic kind of visual imagery going on there with train tracks and things like that. I think that's all I'm going to say because otherwise I'm going to start giving away the plot and you don't want that. <laughs> um, so we're just going to sit and enjoy it. And enjoy as well the Courtney Pine soundtrack, which is amazing. Really, really good. Thank you so much.